Hey YouTube friends, it's Denise here aka West Coast Rust. Sorry for the shaky video, I am in the car with my family and we are headed out to a festival. So uh, today is my 20 week R&Y gastric bypass update. I started this journey, my highest weight was 289 pounds. My, my weight the day I joined my bariatric program December 7th was 264 and uh, surgery day weight was 247. Last week, week 19, I was 185 pounds, and this morning, I am 182. So I am very near the 170s, and very, very excited about that. Uh, let's see, uh, three pound loss, 20 weeks in, loving it. Um, <clears throat> Something interesting that happened this week, uh, I called my bariatric program because there's my son. Say hello. Say hello, Kevin. Hi. Yes, everyone's here. So I called my bariatric program because I've been feeling kind of lethargic and um, it seems like my gums are a little pale and they went ahead even though it's about six weeks early and decided to do um, a complete blood workup on me to see how my vitamins are doing and also my iron level. So I'll probably get that back Monday or Tuesday of next week and we'll find out what happens. Um, if I have to have an iron infusion, uh, at least it'll be in the unit where I work in the hospital. So I know the nurses and that's a good thing. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, Went to my wedding, went to the wedding on uh, sat last Saturday for my nephew. Made my goal, I was 184 on Saturday when I um, went to the wedding and I wanted to be 185 so that was great. Uh, had a, a, There weren't a lot of people there but there were a few people who came up to me and talked to me about my surgery and how I looked really happy and they could just tell that there was a big change and I'm not sure, Kevin did anybody say anything to you? At the wedding? Yeah. Nobody said anything to him, so. Um, so, that's where I'm at right now. Still losing a ton of hair. Still taking the biotin supplements, although the secretary at the bariatric program, she's also a weight loss surgery patient, and she said that um, although it's alarming that I'm losing the hair, it's actually a fairly normal rate that I'm losing it at. And according to her, even though I can't see it, the hair is growing back as I speak. And, um, you know, obviously when you start with no hair and you got to get, you know, as long as my hair is now even, it's going to take some time. So, um, she said it, about six months is when it's going to slow down and, and stop falling out. But I'm really interested to find out about the malnutrition though. I mean, it makes sense. I, I have an R and Y, so, um, I'm malabsorptive to begin with and I really don't eat a whole lot. So, um, yeah, I'm taking my vitamins and Kevin's helping me to remember to take my vitamins, and that's not a bad thing, so. Um, let's see. Uh, I did have a single bite of wedding cake at the wedding on Saturday, and I loved it, and it was awesome, and uh, one was enough. One bite didn't give me any troubles, and I was great, and I held, you know, had good restraint. Kevin did not, and he ate an entire piece and then felt sick afterwards, so. Maybe he needs to stick to a bite or two as well. I don't know. He's laughing. Um, let's see. What else has been going on? Um, still, let's see. Clothing falling off of me, most of it. I can get into uh, large sweatshirts a lot. And um, still like an extra, like a 1X top. Can't get into the women's extra large yet. I can't wait for that to happen. I think that'll be in the next 10 pounds or so, though. Um... Pants are size 12 or 14, depending on the cut. Um, I don't know. I guess that's about it. Kev, can you think of anything that's going on? No? I guess that's about it then. Um, I got a couple weeks until my five-month surgery on the 8th of August. Um, we are planning vacation at the end of August. We're going to take a week off of work. With the Labor Day holiday, it ends up being about 10 days off. And we're actually planning an active vacation this year. We're going to go one day to our state fair, and then we're going to head east to Idaho. And we're hoping to go to Silverwood Theme Park, which is both um, 
roller coasters and also a water park. Never before would I have dreamed that I would plan my vacation around a theme park or being active, ever. So that's a pretty exciting thing. Um, I want to give a shout out to Stephanie, Ginger Mama VSG. I know she's having some struggles right now. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, this. everybody's journey is different. That's just all there is to it. And we don't get to choose how fast our bodies lose necessarily. The only thing I would say to everyone is um, be prepared for ups and downs. I've been lucky to be fairly consistent in a, you know, a two pound, two and a half, three pound average. It just depends. Some days, like last week, I only lost one pound and that was fine. But um, I, I've yet to stall, so I don't know what that feels like. And I'm sure it's very, very frustrating for everybody. I've watched a lot of videos where people are stalling and it's no fun. But uh, you have to hold true to your program, whatever your program is. Um, check your carbs, check your fiber, make sure you're using the bathroom. Bathroom is big. If you do not use the bathroom, you will not lose as fast, period. Um, yeah, it's really getting sunny here. Okay, I guess that's it for now. Um, congratulations to James R&Y guy. Glad you had your surgery, hope you're doing well. Looked like your post-op video was going well. Um, be patient with your body as you heal. It's going to take a few weeks to um, ride the roller coaster and then things will even out and you'll start to adjust. So you guys take care and be kind and we're going to catch you later.